besties welcome back to my channel today guys I have a tutorial on this hairstyle I'm rocking right now and you guys know this hairstyle have been around and everybody and they mama been rocking this hairstyle and I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and rock this hairstyle too so I decided to create it and yeah this is how it turned out and I am loving it, you guys. Like, you guys just don't know. I am obsessed. This is the look, you guys. Like, like, I'm living for these beads. Like, this is crazy. Anyway, guys, this video is also a collab with Miss J Petit, also known as Jeanette A. On YouTube, I'm going to put her um, link in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and check her out. She's also doing a hair tutorial. So, Make sure you guys go ahead, after you watch my video, you guys go ahead and watch her video and comment and be nice over there, okay? So, yeah, you guys, I'm not going to do too much talking, so without further ado, let's just get into the video. These are the things I'm going to be using. I use six packs of the Jumbo Braid. I use Go Styler Gel. I use some beads and some gold hair accessories, a comb, and some rubber bands. I'm starting on stretch hair. My hair is clean and stretched and I'm ready to start. Now I'm just putting my hair in two sections, one in the front and one in the back, one for the cornrows and one for the braids. And now I'm just doing some box braids in the back. I'm not showing too much of this you guys because um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about box braids, so I, I didn't feel the need to like show you guys how to like do box braids, you know? This is how the braids look after I'm done. I'm just doing a corn roll straight back and I'm starting with my natural hair and then I'm gonna add the extensions. I'm gonna do the feed-in method to have the braiding hair to my natural hair. I'm doing it like that because I want the corn rolls to look as natural as possible. And at the end of the um, cornrow, I'm going to add a bigger piece of hair so that the cornrow can be the same size as the braids in the back. And they could be the same length as well. Now I'm just going to do the cornrows going to the front of my hair. And I'm doing like three little cornrows. I know most people do like two cornrows, but I want it to be different. I did three cornrows. I like that better. And I wanted to have more beads in my hair, so... Now I'm doing the con the cornrows in the middle part. When I got to this part, I'm just doing whatever comes to mind. I don't know. I'm just doing whatever style comes to mind. And I'm just doing like kind of like a triangle type of thing. I, can't, I honestly don't know how to explain this, but you guys see what I'm doing. And like every other cornrow, I'm starting with my natural hair. And then I'm going to add the braiding hair. And then at the end of the cornrow, I'm going to add a bigger piece of hair. 
so that the braids could be the same size. I did three of these cornrows and when I got to the little last part of the same side, I'm gonna do three other cornrows going straight back. And guys, I know my parting is not spot on, but what can I do? I was doing this myself. I couldn't see the top of my head um, that well, so. Now that I'm done with the cornrows, I'm just gonna dip my hair in hot water so they could look neat and tidy. And then I'm gonna add my hair jewelry. And now I'm gonna add my beads. This is the final result, you guys. And I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!